And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. The morning time will start with a snow rain mix as a band of moisture moves west to east through eastern Idaho. And then late morning, early afternoon, we'll have a brief dry slot that we'll experience. And then come the afternoon in the dinner time, we'll experience some showery rain and some rumbles of thunder. And then as temperatures drop overnight, solid precipitation snow. Pocatello today has a high of 44, Idaho Falls 42, Southeast Highlands 1 to 2 inches of snow by the midnight hour. Also the same amount, one to two inches for the Central Mountains. Chalice has a high of 46. Salmon has a high of 49. Eastern Highlands, the Teton Range can get up to eight inches of snow. And then moving on to winter warnings that we have in effect. Winter storm warning up around Yellowstone in the Montana corner here until tomorrow at 6 p.m. Up to four inches of snow by tomorrow at 6 p.m. And then winter weather advisory for the western portion of the Central Mountains surrounding Stan until 10 p.m. tonight, up to 8 inches of snow. And then we're going to expect up to 10 inches of snow for the northeast Idaho area, hugging around Driggs. That's until 3 p.m. And then also until tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning, also expecting up to 10 inches of snow for the Bear River Range. Those are the warnings that we have in effect due to this winter event, uh, solid precipitation snow affecting us overnight. Tonight for the Snake River Plain, we've got lows dropping back below Low freezing 28 for Pocatello, Idaho Falls 26 degrees. And for the Southeast Highlands, we've got Income at 25, Soda Springs at 23. So anything that melted during the day with our warm, very warm temperatures way above freezing that we are going to turn to liquid. Anything that turns to liquid and pools, your roof, anything on the ground, your driveway, the sidewalk, it's going to go back below freezing at nighttime and it is going to turn into an icing event, creating fall hazards and slippery road conditions. Be very careful when you're outside in these conditions and driving on these surfaces. Tomorrow for the Snake River Plain, we'll be tapering off with snow. 37 is the high for both Pocatello and Idaho Falls. Southeast Highlands, we've got 32 as the high for Ankum and Soda Springs has a high of 29. So Soda Springs will stay below freezing all day. Central Mountains, Salmon has a high of 40. So we'll have some locations in the Central Mountains melting for a few hours. And then for the Eastern Highlands, an additional two to three inches of snow for the Teton area. Now for the Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Central Mountains, a high temperature of 42 and we'll be dealing with a snow event today and then tapering off with light snow tomorrow. Pocatello has a high of 44 and then Idaho will return to high pressure starting on Thursday and Thursday into the weekend with St. Patrick's Day. We will experience sunshine, uneventful precipitation, not expected. So Get outside, enjoy the weekend. It's a nice St. Patrick's Day weekend. It's the second weekend in the row with lots of sunshine. For the Teton area, we have a high temperature of 34 degrees. And then again, that weekend looking nice. Looking nice to get outside. Yellowstone today has a high temperature of 30 degrees. Most of the most of the forecast seven day forecast period for Yellowstone is going to be at freezing or below, except for a few days on the weekend. Back to you, Matt. All right, thank you there, Eric. It is primary day in several.